Hi everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're making some super fun envelopes very easily out of some book pages. So let's use up our stash of book pages and uh, let's get to it. Let me show you the prototypes. Okay, so here's an example. I just did this fun little uh, letter to Santa stylized on the outside with a little Christmas stamp and a heart. I'm into the red theme for some reason. It must be all the beautiful Christmas journals I've been seeing lately. Um, and uh, so I just inked around and this is what it looks like on the back side. Just put a red heart. I had some uh, fabric scraps I was playing with the other day so they're still sitting on my desk. So I thought I would use them up but this is um, going to open up into the heart shape and this is a classic idea that's been around for a while but I thought it'd be fun to do this time of year especially because of uh, you know uh, the little Santa letters and things like that or and all the Christmas journals that are made but you can apply this to any holiday or any style of journal just ma make it as you see fit. I've gone ahead and gessoed these four squares just so that you could see what uh, gessoing looks like. I had uh, some people asking about that so I wanted to address that a little bit with this one. So so basically gesso is a thick white paint. It's almost like a white house paint flat and uh, you can use it to knock back the intensity of the text on some of your book pages. So as you can see how it mutes it down here um, and it also gives the paper some tooth so, so that you can use pen or pencil or marker or something to write on these. Uh, it gives it some grip. Okay, so that's example number one and the fold is very easy. It looks like it's, you know, complicated origami. It's not. It's totally easy peasy. You'll see. Okay, and here's the other one. Uh, this is a snowflake themed one and uh, here is this side of it and it also opens up into a heart so that you can uh, write on these. And this one has a little bit more wording on the inside. I wanted you to see what one looked like with more wording and we've covered it up with the gesso. And uh, so uh, we'll go over how to do that. It's very easy to work with the gesso. It's very user friendly. Okay. And then one other thing I wanted to show you, there's something called, if you haven't been seen this before, it's called clear gesso. And that's basically clear paint. It's a weird concept, isn't it? But I want to show you what it does to an item. I got some stickers and they turned out to be a little shiny. See the shine? And I'm not really a big shine fan, but when you put the clear gesso on it, can you see the difference? Let me give you the tilt test so you can see. It just makes it matte. It doesn't remove the shine. It uh, covers it. And uh, it has a bit of a feel. I want to say like a, almost like a sandy feel. It's got some grit to it, but it is um, the clear gesso and that's what it does. So if you are dealing with any shiny items or pages or things like that, you can apply thin coats of clear gesso to take away the shine. Okay, there you go. I think it gives a little bit of an antique look to it. All right, so let's get to this because I apologize the last video uh, got cut off at the end because I was too yappy pants. So I'm going to stay focused. We're going to be laser focused and we're going to complete the mission. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, we have a paper and this, I would say use a big book page. Okay, so this big book page made this envelope. Okay, I know I can feel you asking me for how big the book page is. I'm going to tell you it's eight and a half by... Uh, no, it's eight and a half by 11. So it's the size of a co copy uh, sheet, a copy paper. Uh, but you know, a little big, it's a bigger book page. Okay, so we got that. All right, so now what you do, this is the technical part, ready? I'm gonna fold your paper. All right, that's right. Fold that paper, align those ed ed edges, aligning, aligning. Okay, and squash, get a nice little seal in there. Okay, very good, Whoop, a little scrap from before. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a heart shape and you want to use a big piece of paper because you want to make a big heart. And what I would recommend is we're going to cut the shape like this, okay, or half a heart is when it, and when you open it up it's going to be a whole heart. Okay, not rocket science. Um, I would recommend having a longer, thinner bottom of the heart and uh, as opposed to a big chubby heart at the bottom. Okay, so we, I'll show you. And there's, there's way to, to trim it and fix it if it kind of comes out goofy pants. So don't worry. Sometimes things come out goofy pants. I know. I've been there. All right. Well, that's going to be a weird one. You know, I, I, you know, hearts are funny things. They either go right or they just don't. And then you got to start over. Oh, okay. And ma make sure you make that last little divot in or else it comes out kind of wompy pants. Okay. There. So that's not a bad heart, right? We could, we could call that heart-like. All right. Um... 
All right, so you can, can you see that? Okay, because it's going to get a lot smaller in a second because I'm going to fold it. Okay, all right. Otherwise, I wouldn't back out. So basically, what you're going to do is you start from the sides and you fold it back again like this. And this is how you get even sides. You fold it back, you have a nice crease, and then you take this and you sort of estimate guess how much you want in on your sides. And I have no way to know what that measurement is because I've never measured it. I just sort of take a stab at it, make it straight. And then when I open it up, I fold this one backwards the other way. And now I have two equal little flappers on either side. Okay? That's an easy way to do that. Okay, so you have your sides handled. That's good. Now you want to turn it upside down. This is going to be the bottom of your envelope. So you want to bring it up to where the, it's like almost at the top there, right at the top. It's fine because the bottom of your heart makes the little opening of the envelope. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, I love this thing. I've seen this on so many videos, I have no idea where I saw it first, but this is an awesome idea and um, it should be revi revital revised and revitalized, yes, <laughs> as the seasons come and go because, uh, you know, we all need little hearts in our lives. Okay, so now we have the basic envelope and now we're just going to fold this down as our flap, top flap. Now oh, this one worked out nicely. Yes. Okay, if you find that your top flap is too long and it sticks below like it comes like this you just uh, just go back and uh, just trim it off a bit like just zzz, do one of those and it'll be just fine I had to do that a couple times okay so we're looking like an envelope all right well that was easy right so now I'm gonna ink it up and I think I'm gonna watch the time this time I'm not gonna get carried away okay and I'm gonna ink off camera I'll just get you started I think I'm gonna do a green one since I did a red and a blue and uh, this will be a nature themed one I think Okay, so just demonstrating the basics of inking. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I was gone for about three weeks and I've finally done the inking and I have returned. Just kidding. I was just gone for a minute or two, but um, I inked around all the things that I wanted to ink. I want to show you I'm going to do something different on this one compared to the others. See these... I inked these as well on the inside, but this one I'm going to uh, leave uninked because I'm going to gesso this entire area. So let's grab the gesso, grabbing the gesso, and then I have this little card, which I have at the ready. Okay, I found my card. <laughs> Three weeks later, found the card. Um, okay, and I'm going to gesso the surface, and there's a million and one ways to do this, and um, I think I'm going to show you this technique. You can just use your finger and smear around and that's fine. And this is probably highly toxic and you want to use gloves, so don't do what I'm doing. But this is another technique and I've got way too much on here. I know it. Um, okay. Okay. It doesn't take much really, but I'm using some card that came in the mail, you know, one of those little things. And I'm just going to do this. Very easy way to apply the gesso. It gets a nice thin layer and you can always put on more. Remember that? And, and it also depends. What is What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to achieve... Maybe just, this is one coat of gesso, so you can sort of see the words through and everything, but it just knocks it back a bit to have the, uh, the focal point pop out. Or you can do lots so that you can't see the words very much at all, and it gives you more writing space. So, well, you know what? I needed more than I thought. Yet again, eating my words. Okay, that happens. All right, here we go. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. okay, rotating. This side a little more. Spread the wealth here. Okay. And don't worry if you go over the line. You can always go back and ink the line again. <laughs> we can always ink, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit more. I'm going to ink. I'm, I'm going to ink. I'm going to uh, uh, put some more gesso over here just so it, the whole, this whole square has gesso on it. So if somebody wants to write, they can go to town. Okay, now this may make your paper, paper buckle a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it's not that bad. <laughs> why do I, why do I, I should never. Okay, um, okay, I'm just doing this. There's what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, I think we're done. We got enough there. Put that back in the thing. Close this up because it does dry fast. Remember to close your gesso um, container. 
you can get gesso at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or any art store or online eBay and Amazon and it comes in different thicknesses. Um, I've tried the thinner one but then I just end up having to put more coats so I decided to switch to the thick one that's why I use the heavy. Um, I'm gonna let this air dry and I'll be right back. Okay I'm back and I'm all gessoed up and this is what it looks like when it's dry and um, so it's uh, ready to be written on or stamped on or, or do whatever you like to it at this point. So um, I think at this point I'm going to head and decorate the outside are you dry? I thought you were dry. Well, maybe not quite dry there. All right, hang on. Okay, I'm back. All right, um, so now we're dry, and I'm just going to fold it back up. Okay, so the, the order, yes, the Twitter Fest is going on tonight. The um, um, order of the folding is sides, this flapperoo, and, um, you know, at first I was looking at this, and I thought, what can I call this? What does that look like? And I thought, well, it's obvious what it looks like. It looks like... A three. Yeah, that's it. A three. That's what it looks like, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, sides, the three, and then the flap. Okay? That's always the order. Sides, the three, and then the flap. Okay. Once you got that, you are good as gold. Did I ink that? Yeah, I did, but I want it to show more than that. Okay, I'm going to get in there and do some serious inking. Slack inking. What was that all about? Okay. All right, and we have that, and I'm going to uh, make this a, uh, a nature one, so I'm going to do a leaf. So with my amazing, I know all you, you card crafters out there are cringing every time I go to town with my, my stamps. I'm sure I do it all wrong, but I was late to the game, to the scrapbooking and card world, and I kind of entered at the journal making end of it, so, you know, my... my Stamping skills are not the best. Um, okay, and we're down. Okay, there's a lot of hoping and praying involved. Do you push hard? Do you not push hard? Do you rock it? Do you not rock it? Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Okay, that's kind of pretty. I like that. I can take that. Very pretty, huh? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so what I would like to do a little bit more here is enhance. So I think what I'm going to do is I, I want to keep this, this item f flat so that it's easy to insert into, into a journal. It can be clipped onto a page or it can be hung over the top of a page like that or um, it could be tucked into a pocket. And um, I think I want to emphasize these little corners a little more. Where's my, my thingy? There it is. Okay, come on over. You're going to get to play. Okay. And where's my little inker doodle here? And I'm going to do my halo effect. Halo. Around the bottom, halo, 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 a little bit across the top. And I'm creating that little vignette type of look. So it's kind of giving some more distinction there between the body of the work. But I'm also going to do a little bit on the body here. Here, around. I'm vignetting. I'm vignetting. I'm in a vignette mode. I don't know why. Just, just am. Greening it up a bit. It's very easy to change the color of your book pages this way too. So you can adapt them to any color theme. Okay, very cute, huh? All right. And let's see, now the back might show. Okay. Now, I had a debate in my brain about the back because the front, when you're looking at it like this, works great. But then when you turn around and look at the back, it's upside down. And I don't know if that would bother anybody or not. It doesn't really bother me, but um, if it bothers you, you know, you could always cut something and cover it here and, and do like a... Uh, collage or something like that on there. That might look pretty, you know. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Um, should we do that? Yeah, why not? All right. So I made this earlier today, and this is just made. I had some. Where are those fabric scraps? Well, I had some fabric, and I cut out the roses. Basically, that's it in a nutshell. Can't find the little pieces. I had them here. Uh, but anyway, I cut out little roses from a piece of material. And then I glued them on there and I drew some rose stems on a knocked down with white gesso on this uh, very thin little book page. So I backed it with some, um, this is actually like a, a, it's either a very thin cardstock or it's just red copy paper. It was very, very thin. Okay, so that actually looks kind of pretty there, but I might lose part of it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should just put it there. That would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? i have to cut it all apart and everything. Eh, maybe not. All right, we'll see. <laughs> okay, back to the green. Okay, although that does pop nicely. I do like that. 
Oh, well, let's just make it work. I could always make another one of those things. I have more of that, I'm sure. Where's the scissors? Here it is. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Put you here. Okay. All right. Should we tear you? Yeah, why not? Oh, that one. We get the red border. Oh, look at how cool. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Don't get too excited. We don't know what it's going to look like yet. All right. We've got to shorten it up a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. New thing discovered. On the fly. On the fly. That's the best when it happens like that, isn't it? Okay. Are we there yet? I think we're there. We are in. We're in the building. Okay. We put you there. How about there? Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay. Let's glue you down and say we did. Sometimes you just got to be bold. You know, you just got to take your creations and tear them apart and be willing to, you know, go boldly where no crafter has gone before. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, my little switchbacks. Okay. And we're down. I like nice contrast in colors there, huh? I never thought about doing that when I was making the first one. I never thought it would end up on here. But lo and behold, there it is. And with the upside down, uh, upside down font, I think that actually looks kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I'm calling it art, my artistic license. I'm running with it. Okay, so there we go. We have that. Then we have this. And then we have this. But we, of course, want to do more with this. So I have these little stamps, these little leafies. And I thought maybe I could put some leafies on the side. Let's see how that looks. Cross your fingers. Okay. Dobbing, not rubbing. Dobbing, not rubbing. Did I dob enough? I hope so. We'll find out. All right, here we go. Let me start at the top. I'm going to do a little chain. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're going. Oh, I rubbed. Did you see that? Yeah, it's old habits. Can Hard to break, hard to break. Okay. Uh, eh, eh. Okay. Whoop. Now that went a little wacko. That's okay though. Let me just stick a, a mid leaf in there. Oh, there we go. I'll fix. See that? See, sometimes you just got to keep going. One more will do it. Okay. I'm going again. Okay. Start from the bottom this time. Down. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. We'll carry on. And here. Oh, okay. Huh. You know, I know what it is now. It's this, this stamp is positioned more this way than it is that way. And that's why my, that's what it is. It's certainly not me. No, never. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. We like that. We like that. Yep. 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 Okay. Now we have, um, I found this little guy. I thought he was sort of festive. A little stamp here. And I thought maybe we put him here. Did it again. Rubbing. Sorry. Apologizing to the stamp. Sorry, little stamp. Sorry, little stamp pad. Okay, here we go. I think this is a faint one. Well, give it a go. Okay, that's not bad. Can't really see what it is, but that's okay. See? It's that guy. Um, okay, well, I like that. That's kind of pretty, actually. Um, very much. So, oh, gosh, I'm resisting the urge to stickle, but I, I just, I want to. I want to. But I'm, I'm not going to. I don't want to overstickle myself and, and you know I have other toys that I can play with so get something else out Pam let's see what you can do okay let's put my little glue thing in there um, all right let me go look around be right back okay I have an idea all right since I have some red on the back I think I would like to bring a little bit of red to the front just to you know have a little consistency throughout and I pulled out this barn door ink and I think I, okay, I, I was playing earlier and I just had a bunch of uh, these little guys. What time is it? Okay. These little guys. And um, I punched out a bunch of shapes from my uh, book page, little leftover pieces, you know, like uh, here I was doing some of these and some of these just had extra paper around. And I just thought um, I'd use one of these tiny little boxes to collect little, little pieces of book paper to give me little elements. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one red. Ah! Oh, dag nabbit! Wrong color! Ah! All right. Disaster pants there. Here we go. And I have a red. See, I changed the pad. You'd be proud of me. It's, it's living on my pink string, but I don't have more of these, these things, so I've got to work with what I have. 
I'll get over the pain of that. Oh, well. Oh, look how red that is. That's nice. Yeah, that came out really good. Oop, let me wipe that up before I smear that through there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. What's of that? It's a very intense red. Let me just move this whole thing. Yep. That sounds like a really good idea. Okay. Now, oh, I like that back there, too, though. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a few of these. Yeah. I'll take another one of those, please. And we'll use the consistency theme. We'll go on the, uh, the front with another one of these because I have extras. And let me do that. Okay, come, become red, become red. You are now red. The redness of you will be quite apparent. <laughs> there, okay, you are now red. Okay, so yeah, I kind of like that. All right, let's do that. Let's just put this guy here. Whoop, gotta take that out. First things first, Missy. Don't get ahead of yourself. All right, 20. Okay. 20 minutes. Are we done? Bye. Really super quick. Okay, here we go. All right, so doing that. Kind of a strange design, but we're going for it. Could put that there. Could be like a little hideaway. Uh, here. A little hideaway. Oh, we could do peakies. How about peakies? That would be really cute. You know what? Let me try that. Hang on. Okay, I colored three more and I thought I would do that. So let me just go ahead and glue those down. And we'll just put this here. I guess you could do that one, whoop, lower, 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 lower. You could actually make that one a little tab. That would have been cute. But mama wasn't thinking. Yeah. I guess I could still do it, but yeah, we'll try that. Let's see. All right, let's just get these down first. Then we'll discuss the entire matter with the council. That's you. All right, here we go. Okay, going in. Is that even? Pretty much. Okay. All right, so now we have this. And the question is, this isn't, this isn't thick enough, so I would need something thicker. Mm -hmm. I think I... Well, Maybe I will. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I found a thicker piece of paper and I also colored it red. And now I'm going to attach it down below here. I just want to maybe put the glue down here so I don't get it all everywhere. So I only want to glue the bottom. And I'm going to match up the little picture. There we go. All right, we just see how that goes. Okay, that's kind of cute. Now, if all goes well, this should slip out of there easily. Yep, still moving. Good, good, we're good. Okay, let me just let that dry for a second. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry, you see how I got some of the red here? So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna roll with that. I stuck my finger in the red over here on this thing where I was redding them up. And uh, I'm just gonna put some like little red things so it looks like it was all, yeah, on purpose <laughs> again. <laughs> okay. That's what we do. Yeah. You got to roll with these little things that happen, you know? No more fighting. Yep, that's right. Just roll with it. And it gives a little more dimension, too, to the color. I think that looks kind of cool. Okay, so we have that. I like that. We have our little design up here. We like that. We're opening this up, and we have this lovely writing space. And, okay, I still have a little bit of this Grimm's Fairy Tale page, and I just found the words in the forest, and I thought that might be perfect for this. So sometimes a little chain of words is kind of cute. You could pull out individual words or just a little half sentence is kind of cute. All right. Um, well, let's just put a little tinge of red on it because, uh, you know, it's uh, getting close to the holiday season and we've got the red out. So that's what we're going to do. We're redding it up. All right. Okay. 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 So how about that? All right, let's do that. So we have a little prompt on the inside to help guide the eye, focus the eye in the center area. And hopefully this will inspire somebody to write uh, anything they so choose. But it will be a little prompt. There we go. Okay. All right. So there's this one. And then there's this one. Let me just show you again. Sides, the three, and then the flap. And that's how it's done. Okay, and there's a blue one floating around here. Where'd you go? Here you are. 
Now this one I got a little blingy, yeah, but uh, Christmassy uh, or, or snowflakey. And so there's that one, sides, the three, and then the flap. So you can decorate them up any way you like. I hope you like this project. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, love hanging out with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, playing here. And um, I hope you're having fun crafting because um, that's what it's all about. So um, I'll be talking to you soon. I got a whole bushel full of ideas coming. We just uh, passed 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you very much. Um, uh, it's completely you guys who are doing this and, and it's, uh, I'm, com I'm just moved at um, um, your support and encouragement. So thank you very much for everything. And um, because of that, I, I want to, uh, we're going to do another subscriber video, uh, our contest, all right? Uh, YouTube just came up with some uh, contest requirements. So I have to review that first and uh, get my contest all, um, you know, aligning with the, the requirements. So um, that'll, but it'll come out, I think this week we'll do it. And um, um, so watch for that. And I got more ideas on how to use up your book pages. And um, I love talking with you on the uh, comments and I love hearing your ideas and thoughts and uh, they're all welcome. And uh, uh, interacting with you on the Facebook page, you can just jump in there and uh, post pictures of what you make and stuff like that. And uh, um, it's great chatting with you there too. So I'll see you soon. Um, all right, everybody, take care. And until next time, I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs>